Hi guys, this is Rochelle, and um, this is tutorial number two. I just wanted to let you know that I am not a professional, so you're going to see that I make mistakes here, and it's okay, because it's okay to make mistakes, all right? Just wanted to let you know that. All right, the first thing I wanted to say, if you accidentally log out of your WordPress, and you want to get back in, this is what you do. Okay, you go to the sign in here, and it's going to give you a couple of options. The option that I choose would be continue with Google because Google remembers everything, remembers your passwords, remembers everything. Okay, and I'm going to go to the email I signed up with. And this is going to put me right back in my site. You might not think this is important, but this is very important because it can get frustrating. If you are in a position where you forget what your information is. Okay. Because I've done an exercise. Right now is a press tutorial. Settings. And you're going to see here, you have your site icon, which you can change if you want. And the icon is what will come up uh, showing on your tab. It shows people what your site is. Okay. And here, you're going to have the site title, which is the WordPress tutorials. And uh, here, you're going to have your site tagline, which I have free do-it-yourself WordPress. This is something that you can look at later on. Here is very interesting. I wanted to show you because some people have a little trouble with English. So you could look at the popular languages here. You can change it to French. Or you could change it to Spanish, you could change it to German, or Chinese, or Japanese, you know, depending on what's going to be more comfortable for you to work in. So I just wanted to let you see that there. Just remember that down here, if you do change something, that you have to save your changes. And it's very important because otherwise you're going to end up with a WordPress in another language that you don't understand. Now, the privacy is up to you, but right now mine is set to public, which means that anybody can see it. And I'm actually going to make things bigger here so that it's, you can see it better. There we go. All right. So you can change it to hidden or you can change it to private. Um, it, it just means that it's not, nobody else can see it but you. And that is um, important as well. Um, here, you don't really need to worry about it right now. Um, and all this stuff will be covered later on. So let's just save the settings. Have to make sure that this comes up here and your settings are saved. Okay. This is your it's writing, and what it shows you is your number of categories. Um, I haven't really put in any categories yet. I haven't put in any tags yet. But it will show you your categories and your tags. Um, 
here it tells you your post format and I just use standard to begin with. I also use the date and time format and it's already here. Uh, well, actually that isn't the right time, but it doesn't matter. We can go in here and, and we can change it. You can just change it to where you want it to be. Stay your and you're back again up here. Uh, the next thing is how many blog posts do you want to show? You want to show five per page, or you want to change it, you want to show two. It's up to you. And if you want to have testimonials, you can have a number of testimonials. You want to have 10, you want to have three, or you want to have five or six. It's up to you as well. Um, you, you can also work on portfolio projects, which we'll, we will discuss later. And then you see that you have something called feed settings. And it will show 10 of the most recent blog posts. You can change that. You can make it five, you can make it two. You could also limit it to only show a little bit to begin with and not the full content, which I do. And of course we have to go up here and it's save the settings, which is very important. We're not going to get into podcasting because it's not important right now unless you really wanted to do that. Um, we're not going to get into this either. So that is your writing. This is your discussion. And it says that I don't have something to go back in here and I need to make sure your are saved. Okay. So this is, you can read through this. It tells you about, um, what you can do and what other people can do, what you're going to allow, what you're not going to allow, what, what if you want an email being sent to you, or if someone gives a comment, you want an email or something. Um, this is important here, is you, you want to hold the comment in a queue if it has two or more links. And I would actually say, one but two is good because what people do sometimes is they get into your comment board and they will leave links to their own sites which will take um, people away from your website into their sites so and also say this is important or you can't go you can't go on. now this is called traffic There's a couple of things that, it, that you can you can do here. You can read, read this through and see um, what you want to do. Whether you want to show a related header to more clearly separate the related sections from the post, and it just makes things clearer for for people to read. Or if you want to show a thumbnail image if it's available, this one just to show you an example. Of what happens. Now it says here improve the loading speed of your site on phones and tablets and see whether it's clicked or it's not clicked. If it's clicked, it says it will improve your speed and um, I have read up on it. Um, and we can go on into that at another time. Your site maps are another thing that are important if you're submitting your sites. And these down here, we're going to go into this at another time. So just to let you know what all this is.
and uh, how important it is. Now, here's the, the thing that I think that is, is really important is that you write down your important information for now. Make sure it's written somewhere because you might think you're going to remember it, but the odds are you're probably not. And then it gets very frustrated. You lose time, um, and you just get you just don't want to to go on with it. Okay, so make sure you write your information down. Or I am going to cover something else um, for uh, uh, passwords using a a password manager that you can download free. Okay, um, I wanted to get else's site pages. Okay, and it's going to show you the ones that are published, your drafts, if you have any that you're working on, or you can actually start a page down here. And this gets into further things later on. Um, your home page is something that you're going to set either to be always showing or just to be the, the, the page. Now, always showing is called a, a static page, and that's where the page remains, but posts go on uh, as they're created. Um, you also have your contact page, and if I go here, you're going to here. And because I've already uh, done some work with this, I just wanted to show you this to begin with. Um, this is usually, we see it like this to begin with. That is the HTML, and basically, what you do is you just click visual and it will go to your contact and this is just a simple contact form in which you um, don't have to do anything with right now because we're not publishing anything right now okay um, and so going back And of course you have your blog, but your blog post will show your latest one. And one, so um, it's there, but that's not what I wanted to show you right now. I wanted to, to talk about your first post, okay? So we're gonna go to add blog post. All right, because I've already done a, a, a post, I just want to talk about some things that are really important right now, which is your title. I am just going to duplicate this page right here because uh, I want to work with two uh, I've got duplicated, so I've duplicated my site. So now, what I want to do is I want to um, close this and do the uh, post uh, that I've already done, just to show you what we're doing here. I know this is a little confusing, so just bear with me for one, for a minute. Okay, so this is my title, okay? I'm just going to take this to show you, and um, this is not what you do. I'm just showing you that this will go here. This is, this is very important, um, that you use the keyword as to be clear on what you're talking about. I'm talking about WordPress, and this is my tutorial one, okay? That's my headline. Now, the next point is called 
see, I outlined it here, different headlines, right? And then some information. Um, I think I'll just, I'm just going to take this and copy this here. So that you can see, this is just a little bit of information uh, that I put together for this particular tutorial. Okay. Now, I don't know if you're going to be selling a product or you're just going to be doing it for yourself or doing uh, photos for the family or, or um, whatever you want to do. It's up to you. But basically, a post needs a couple of things okay it needs not just the headline but I'm just gonna type in here so that you know you need you need an introduction and um, as you can tell I spelled that wrong an introduction um, you need to show benefits as to what is if you're ha if you have a product, what are the benefits of it? Why would you buy that product from you? Um, the plan. What is it that you're proposing? What are you um, showing people that you can do for them? And then your close, and that's basically your post right there. Okay, and another couple of words that I think that are very, very important for your um, your niche, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay, I'm just going to show you that this is what I've done here, and. Um, I've, I've combined everything um, and I put all of the elements of it in there. And I'm just going to update it. Because I've also put uh, the tutorial in there, which is not coming up right now, so, but that's okay. And uh, after you finish doing your post, this is just for show. Um, some of it won't make a lot of sense, and that's okay for me. Then we're going to go over here, okay? And we're going to look at the categories and tags. Right now it says uncategorized. You want to change that. You want to add a new category, and my new category will, will be um, Tutorials. That's my new category. Just added it in. And as it comes up right there, now I'm going to add something. It's called tags. What are tags? Tags are keywords. Tags are the words that people will type in looking for a specific item. For instance, say someone is looking for design. That would be a tag. Or WordPress. That would be another tag. Business would be another tag. Um, or And you would use these keywords that are specific to what your, your post is about. You can't just put keywords in there that have nothing, no relevance to do with your post because um, it's, it won't be able to be indexed by the search engines. They just won't do it. Okay? Save that.
So it'll see here, you'll see a check mark. It'll say the post is updated. Okay. Um, it'll tell me now that I have a category and I have four tags. Now, if we go down here, it says sharing. It says show sharing buttons and show the like button. You want to click both of them because it's um, that is what we'll share with, with people as well. Now, this is important. This is called a slug. And a slug is another way of identifying your page to the um, to the search engines, right? So this one, it says WordPress tutorial one, all right? And usually you're gonna be looking here and there's gonna be something that's called a focus word that you're going to use. And basically I, I wanna use tutorial as a focus word. So I wanna put something in there that it's going to use my focus word. I'll just put. And I also like to put the um, the catchphrase, no strings attached, because I'm not, not trying to sell you anything. I'm just teaching people what I already know. I'm just sharing my, my knowledge. You could also put your location in if you want, and um, I will show you that in, in, in another one as well. And I'm going to upgrade this or update it. And that will now show me my post is. Now I want to visit my post. I'm going to go here. I could go here or I could go there. I'm just going to go here and I want to visit my post. So this, this is my post right here. And um, I did put in my uh, WordPress tutorial, which I will cover in another lesson. Uh, but I think this is a, a lot of information right now for uh, you to, to be looking at. And um, if you do have any questions or anything that I can help you with, um, subscribe to my channel and, and I'll get back to you. If there's any questions that I can answer, I would be happy to do that. For now, it's goodbye for the tutorial two, and we're going to be going on to tutorial three.